I made my own men's league team and we're gonna be breaking down everything that happened from the second half of the season from fights breaking out and people getting ejected to our entire playoff run but first we're gonna start with game one where NBA Alex Antetokounmpo coached my team the tip is up and within one second I make it a legal play already in my years of playing basketball I didn't know you can't run right when the tip started I thought you could do that I guess not I got a foul on me not even one second into the game and I'm messing up then we come right back Back down, Zach calls for a screen. It's a fake hesitation, drives all the way in for the layup. That's two, we have the lead. But then the other team says, I don't think so. I think we'll take the lead. And they hit a three pointer right back at us. They pass it out. 4-3, great contest. And then the rebounding machine gets the board like he does. I throw it ahead to Johnny. Johnny sees my boy Travis, AKA Stephen Curry in the corner. Splash! He doesn't miss! The other team was like, damn, we need to switch it up. They're scoring too easily. So they start running the 2-3 zone. You already know how to beat the 2-3 zone. Put someone at the free throw line. He gets it. I cut down low. Easy layup works every time against the zone. And that was my first points of the game. We got the ball out of bounds. So me and Zach have a father-son connection. And this is our signature inbound play. I see Zach for the alley-oop. Yeet bucket squad. Then my favorite YouTuber, Jeff Bowie, checks into the game and he says, I'm pulling it first shot I'm in. Bang. We were on fire, but as everyone knows, basketball is a game of runs and your fire can burn quick. Back on offense, I swing it to Zach. Zach for three. Zach hits it. Let's go. Money. Great teamwork. Just like that. We are currently up 26 to 9. I only have two of those points, you know, so I'm not doing that good. So let your boy get another bucket. Cross, cross, all the way. No one's stopping that. I got subbed out, and the other team was like, it is our time to come back. We're still running the zone. They drive in, 25 cuts, gets the wide open layup. Our fire ends, and we need a timeout. The coaches are pretty mad. We're up 38 to 16. Let's listen in. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Jesus Christ, get in here. We haven't practiced zone much, but this corner right here is killing us. If you play in this corner, and whoever has that back corner, the opposite corner, rotate. We're getting beat every time, especially you. If they cut in front of you, if he cuts in front of you, push him out, push him back. The moment he brushes in front of you, he's basically calling you a bitch. You're not a bitch, Efron. I know you're not a bitch. All right, let's go, come on. Bucket squad on three. No bitch. That was a motivating timeout. It is time to put our foot on the gas and make the lead even higher. I get the ball, spin move, cause a double team. Throw it to my boy, Zach. Father, son, connection, splash. Yes, sir. And now we got an inbound pass. They're doomed. I'm gonna put the fire on the screen. That's how confident I am. Oh, he's going, they don't see it. And I throw it at the backboard. Oh, Jesse. I'm so bad. Sorry, coach. I'm sorry. At halftime, the score is 25 to 43. Let's listen into our halftime speech. I'm gonna leave you guys with this, okay? One of my favorite artists of all time is DJ Khaled. You know why? He likes to say these two words time and time again. Can you, you know what those are? God did? No, another <laughs> one. What I want you to remember is what you did last week, a victory. Yeah. And today, what are we gonna do? Another, another one. one. Another one. When Jesse, Jeff, Zach, Johnny, the whole damn squad is making plays, what are we gonna get? Another, another, one. another one. When we're playing that zone defense up by what, 20 something? What are we gonna get? Another, and another, another one. one. Another one on three. One, two, three. Another one. Let's go. Another one. In basketball, all because you have a lead in the first half does not mean it's going to last. That's all I'm saying. They shoot a three-pointer, and the rebounding machine gets yet another one. Me. Then I throw it to Johnny and turn into prime Blake Griffin. Look at the hops. I could have dunked that. There's about 12 minutes left in the game, and our worst player, Rizzle, he's British, never played basketball before, gets the ball. It's time for him to get a bucket. He has the ball in the corner, drives in, and they foul him. We're getting free throws. If Rizzle scores, your team is down horrendously bad. Worse than the Pistons. Look at this free throw form. He is ready, full jump. <laughs> and gets a disgusting brick. This is literally Rizzle at the free throw line. Come on, like the next one. Where the acid shot goes in? This shot? 100%, it goes in. It would be legendary if he made the second one. It's up! 
and he hits a rim so close. Alex on Dendagubo is probably so confused. It's like, why did you get this guy on your team? Because he's my friend. I could get the best hoopers in the world, but I'd rather have a team of my boys. I haven't been showing much of the other teams make this half, but they were actually starting to pop off. They hit a three pointer and it's 48 to 60. So it's only a 12 point game now. Our lead is going down and down. Steph Curry is on the wing. He drives in, throw it to Jeff, who's wide open in the corner. Jeff pulls it. He air balls it. But thankfully, Johnny gets the steal. He sees the layup, but says twos are good, but threes are better. Bang, bang. We have to stop their comeback. But the other team says, you know what? I can hit a three as well. Equalize just like that. It's 61 to 67 with two minutes left. And this dude literally pulls up from Curry Rage and hits it. Are you serious? They were not missing. It is, we were up by over 20 points. And now in the last two minutes of the game, we are only of three points. We need to score this. They have all the momentum. Zach drives in, finds our best shooter for three. The dagger misses it, but I get the rebound and put it back up. Out of nowhere, the rebounding machine comes in clutch. It's 64 to 71, so you would think this should be game over, but the other team has other opinions on that. They're dribbling around the top. Spin move. He gets stuck, gets the layup, and won! He really needs to make it, and he does. Four point game. We inbound, they instantly foul. It's one and one, they need us to miss, but Zach thankfully makes the free throw. This game is over, Bucket Squad with the W. One, two, yes, three, another, another one. one. Let's check in with Coach Alex. What do you think about the squad out This is a very good team, best team in the league by far. Yeah, I'm 2-0 oh yeah. under your coaching. 2-0. Oh. <laughs> I'm an undefeated coach. <laughs> yes, sir. Best coach in the world right there. Coach me in the celebrity game we won. Rec League, we won. We're undefeated. Me and Alex of a dream team. Shout out to Coach Chris, of course. I, I want minutes in the next game. <laughs> My stat line for the game, I had 16 points, 10 rebounds, four assists, and three turnovers. Zach had 15 points, Johnny had 14, Travis had 11. That was the last game of our regular season, and now it is time for playoffs. Win or go home. This is what it's all about. Nothing else matters but this game right here. To win the whole league, we have to win the next three games in a row. We are playing the same exact team as last week, but bad news. They time they have their star player who is the tallest man on the court and i'm going up against him in the tip the tip is up and he wins it i mean he's taller that's why i lost that's all i'm gonna say gets the ball back half spin pump fake beautiful move that's two to them i mean scoring two is great but you know what they say twos are good threes are better steph curry bang zach dribbling up the ball he says you're too slow you can't guard me i'm driving in left hand lay this is exactly like last game we started off really hot we went out to a lead we're up 10 to 2. i wonder if they'll come back again i need to get my revenge on the big man i get the ball i do a little cross drive in and get the foul call thank you ref first free throw is a miss there's 13 minutes left we are up 4 to 10 make that Still four to 10. Missing free throws is the absolute worst, but what's even worse than that is them hitting a wide open three pointer at the top, then getting an inbound pass. We're not even paying attention. They hit another three pointer and boom, it's tied 10 to 10. Then the other team said, Jesse, you think we're done with two threes? Nah, how about three threes in a row on your head? Bang. It's about how you respond. Johnny has the ball at the top. We're gonna give it to Travis and we're gonna give a base drop. destroyed me. It felt like I got blocked by Weapon Yama. It felt like a LeBron block on me, bro. Dude, there's nothing more soul crushing than going up for a lay and then just someone comes towering over you and blocks it. It hurt my soul. The base drop was for him. You thought it was gonna be for me. Following that play, I was pissed, bro. He belittled me. He blocked me. I was going right at him. You know what I'm doing? Ah. <laughs> oh. No! I got blocked again, bro. He really said, Yes, sir, you're small. And they got the ball back. And now with 13 seconds left to end the half, they have possession for the final shot. He dribbles around Jeff, hits it out to number two. Number two drives in. He's double teamed, gets the layup to go. And that is the end of the half. The Ops 26, Bucket Squad 19. Being down at halftime, you need motivation. The difference between us and the other team is we wanted to win more than we wanted to breathe. And you know what else I love winning in? Underdog Fantasy, the sponsor of today's video. Underdog is the easiest place to play fantasy sports and not just basketball. You can make picks on baseball, football, UFC, hockey, and so much more.
more. The pick'em game is so fun. You simply pick higher or lower on your favorite player's stats. And you can make big money. I'll show you an example with this next play. Will Jesser score more than one points this play? I think higher. Jesser drives in, big man's on him, gets the fake, misses the layup, but he can take another one. Instead, he passes it out to Johnny. Johnny takes the shot, miss. Jesser tips the rebound. A real example would be higher or lower LeBron James getting eight rebounds. You can make your own entry with as few as two picks and three X your money, or you could go big and 100 X your money. Before I tell you the special promo, let's see if Jesser can get a bucket. They miss the three pointer. Jesser gets the rebound. He passes it up to Jeff, unselfish player, and Jeff gets the bucket. I've been having a ton of fun playing underdog, so I'm gonna show on screen right here some of the wins I got from playing with the app. And I've got a special promo. Underdog is offering new users a $100 deposit match. That's right, $100. Underdog's pick'em games are available in 30 plus states, including California, Texas, and even Canada. So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is click the link down below or download Underdog Fantasy and use promo code JESSER for a first time deposit match worth up to $100. So rep your team and make your own picks on Underdog. Right now, Underdog is giving new customers a special pick for Patrick Mahomes. All he needs to do is have one yard to win. Check it out. Momentum is slowly coming back our way. They have the ball, throw a horrible turnover. Now, Travis is already up the court. He gets the ball, he can throw it to me, but he says wide open three, I'm taking it. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Basketball is a game of runs and we're running. Zach is at the ball, top of the key. He throws it to me. I throw it to Travis. Travis and Johnny pick and roll, it's unguardable. Beautiful pass from Travis and the tough lay from Johnny. Down five with about 10 minutes left, number nine, drives into the paint, has great court vision, sees the man at the top, deep contested three, hits it. That dude's a shooter. And remember, this is playoffs. If we lose, we go home. Our season's over. Big man versus me, 1v1. He tries to do a post move. It's not as good as mine. He misses the shot and now we are on the fast break. Travis, best shooter I know, bang. His threes are so clutch. Big perks of having Steph Curry on the team. You need to be hitting threes when you come back. They take a horribly contested shot. I grab the rebound. When I grab the rebound, I turn on the Jets like I'm Elon Musk's rocket ship. I throw it to Johnny for the layup. We're making our comeback. Now with five minutes left, we're only down three. They have the inbound pass. Trav, beautiful steal. The three of us are on the fast break. Trav has it. You already know what he's doing. Pull it up from three, bang! That's what I'm talking about. Jeff, one dribble, spin move, sees the drive, all of the way, open leg, he misses it, but Johnny gets the beautiful tip in. They have the inbound pass, and there is no shot clock, so we decide to foul. We don't want them to just dribble out the clock. It is one on one, so if he misses it, the ball is live in play. He does not get a second shot. He misses it. We need a clutch bucket. I'm out of here. Give me a base drop. <laughs> Zach for three! Incredible shot from Zach. We have the lead. We just need to hold on. Their boy is coming up. He pulls up from Curry range. Pause, bro. You're not making that. You think you're Curry. All right, unpause. What? He hit that. <laughs> How did he make that? That was a deep NBA contested Three pull up. What? After that clutch shot, we're now losing again. That was an insane shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a replay because that was just absolutely absurd, ridiculous. <laughs> There's now 30 seconds left in the game. We are down one point. What will we do? This could be our final shot of the game if we hold on to it. Johnny has the ball. Zach says, I just hit that three. I'm ready to hit another three. It's up. And he air balls. Zach air balls. Oh no. It is now their ball. After the air ball, we call a timeout. Following the timeout, we decided let's run a full court press. If they get the ball, we're gonna foul them. But first, let's try to get a steal off the inbound pass. Let's see if it works. Let's throw up a base shot as well. The guy I'm defending starts running full court. Slow motion, I see it. Air Jesser. Look at this freeze frame moment, bro. I get like 75 inches in the air. I smack the ball backwards, risk my entire body. I felt like I was flying. It was an out of body experience. I hit it out. It goes right to Travis. I'm on the floor, but I trust my boys to score. Johnny goes in all the way. We take the lead. Yes, 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 yes. We're up with 10 seconds left. Final play. They give it to their big man. He's going. Johnny nearly makes him lose it. Johnny with the cookies. He's up top. He's stuck. He doesn't know what to do. He throws it up. We win. We win. Yeah! 
<laughs> Craziest ending ever. Bro, you watching, you have to leave a like right now. We better have 100,000 likes. I went Air Jesser. We won. The team is celebrating, getting pumped. And it's not over. We're about to react to the next game, boys. The playoffs are still going on. We got to win two more games to win the championship. And I'm showing you everything in this video. Do not go anywhere. It's going down. And look at everyone wearing the Bugger Squad shorts. If you didn't know, Bugger Squad, we got shorts. The best basketball gear in the entire world. BuggerSquad.com if you need some. Quick stats recap. I had 10 points, 10 rebounds, 1 assist. Travis had a game high, 18 points. Johnny had a game high, 11 rebounds. And Zach scored 10 points. Absolutely awful news. Two of our star players are out. Zach and Jeff were not available for this game. That means we have people in our starting lineup with really no basketball experience. But the good news is we still have Steph Curry, AKA Travis. We got me, Rebounding Machine. We got Johnny, he's a beast. We should be all right. I did a video on the first half of the season and in that we played the team we're playing right now in the playoffs and we beat them by a pretty good amount. And remember at the beginning of the video, I said a fight breaks out, people get ejected. Just wait. A lot's going down in this game. Let's get it started. Tip is up. They win the tip off straight away. I get the ball at the top. Shaq is guarding me. I am too fast for him. I get around him. Low key and and one hits me from behind. Get the bucket to go. I have to be aggressive if we want to win this game. I just score on him through the legs. Spin. Pump. Spin around, attack, bucket. Loki, I think that should have been another and one. I'm gonna be honest. I was getting hit down there. You guys wanna hear the most beautiful noise ever? Well, Steph Curry will show you. Mm, perfect switch, that was beautiful. At the top, our boy AJ gets the ball. He sees a little opening, tries to split the two defenders. It doesn't work. My boy throws a behind the back pass. They get a wide open layup. Trying to be as aggressive as possible. I get the ball and instantly I'm driving in. I hit their big man. I'm not getting through that, bro. That's a brick wall. You're not getting through that. But offensive foul on me. Now this is when bizarre, crazy things happen. So as you can see on the scoreboard, the score is 20 to 13 at this point. We come down, I'm dribbling down on this guy. I drive in, I throw it to AJ who passes it to Johnny. Johnny with the contested three hits it. We should go up three, but the scorekeeper decides let me give that three to the other team. What? What? <laughs> Obviously, we're all playing, bro. We're not looking up at the scoreboard. Look at this. They bring up the ball. Boom! They gave the, the score to the other team. We lost our three. They gained a three. That's a six-point difference. It should have been a four-point game. Instead, it's a ten-point game. Ridiculous, bro. Absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't matter what happens. We will come back. We control our destiny. Trav drives in, sees me for three. Bang! I finally hit a three! It's about time! The Ops have about 15 seconds left. They have the last shot of the half. They decide to run a pick and roll. He has a ton of space. He drives in, throws it to the big, who shoots a horrible shot. I block it a little bit. It goes to Johnny. Give me a base drop. I'm out of here. Beautiful shot from Curry at halftime. The score is 23 to 22. We're missing our stars, but we will win this game. Their guard was a master at the behind the back pass. Those are behind with the bounce pass. Now they throw it to him in the corner. He drives in and throws a beautiful pass to their big and they get the easy layup. They had great teamwork. This time he is up top, it's wide open. So he drives in. I do like a 360, somehow tip the ball and cause the turnover. So shout out to me. Now AJ is dribbling down the ball, but he doesn't see the defender coming from behind. We throw a turnover, fake behind the back pass this time and he misses the layup. They get the rebound. This is a long possession. It's going to the corner. He's pulling and he's hitting. Ah, so tough that that sequence of events led to a contested corner three. At this point, shout out to our three fans. They've been on our bench above us every single game. And now that we're in playoffs, they randomly decide to tell us, oh, they're not allowed to sit there. They were rooting for us, cheering for us, our only support group. Keep in mind, they've been sitting there the whole season. It's like, why are they against us for these random things? And the girls are like, no, we're not leaving. Then he's like, we're gonna call a tech. So they had to leave. Our three fans. As you can see in the next clip, they are gone. <laughs> We control our destiny, like I said earlier. We will come back. I got the ball through the legs. I'm driving in. I throw the craziest miss, but fortunately I can see Travis at the top and he hits the three. That's why you got teammates. You gotta love them. Score is now 36 to 28. We're down 11 and a half minutes left. The ops run a pick and roll. I show and then I go back to the big man. He drives in. I swear Travis hits the ball and gets an and one. Things are not going right. And he made it. So it really was an and one. The only way I'm taking crime Michael Jordan off is if something good happens. I got the ball. I'm driving in on the big man and I get fouled. 
First free throw is up, and I make it. We're taking it off. We're coming back. Second free throw is also good. We're only down nine. We only had one sub. We're tired, but it is time to come back. It is the playoffs. Travis bringing up the ball, throws it to me. I throw it right back to him. He throws it to Johnny. Beautiful. Wide open. Takes the three. Hits it. That's what I'm talking about. Now we just need a stop. Their point guard hesitates, drives in, and gets the tough layup. We can't get a stop. Even though we weren't getting a stop, they were making layups, and we were hitting threes. I pulled it out. I saw Johnny. He just hit one a second ago. He hits another one. Yes. Johnny is bringing up the ball. If we hit a three, it's a five-point game. Who better than Travis shoots it? Misses it, unfortunately, and they get the rebound. And with five minutes left, we are still down 10. I get it at the top. Signature move is a spin move. Left-handed layup, tough shot. I miss it. Then the next possession down, I see Johnny at the top. He's hot, and he misses too. We cannot get a shot to fall. Our Gatorade symbol is low. They come back, drive in, get the layup. It's looking bad, man. We have an inbound pass and we need to start this comeback right now. Inbound goes to Johnny, to Trav, to me, to Johnny, to Trav. <laughs> Trav, for the three. We're back, baby. We're coming back. Give us the fire. Momentum is on our side. This dude is not scoring on me 1v1. They throw it to Shaq, who does a nice spin move and gets the layup to go. It is so hard to guard a big man like that. Efron was assigned to such a hard role guarding a center like that. They were elbowing each other, going back and forth. Efron gives him a little shove on the shot. The big man says something to Efron. Efron is not having it. They start beefing. A running grab the big man get off of him the ref ejects Efron and gives two technical fouls All right guys, it was a little clickbait. It wasn't that much of a fight <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had to wait this long to find out. I mean people did get ejected They both got technicals Efron got ejected. We're down 12 a minute left. We are all frustrated We beat this team earlier in the season and now Johnny's about to get ejected on this play. He goes up for the dunk <laughs> and in this league, you're not allowed to touch the rim for whatever reason. Like, there's no dunking allowed, which has been hurting me all season long, bro. Usually, I'd be postering hella people. So, Johnny got ejected. We got two players ejected at this point from the game. The scorekeeper was against us. They were hating on our fans sitting above us. Gave the other team our three-pointer, took it away from us. Destroyed this team earlier in the season. We didn't have our star players. It was a... Horrible way to go down. They just ended the game after that. I thought we played well yeah, outside of just the ruckus of the scoreboard. Tough loss. We tried our best. I hope you guys did enjoy this series. I'm sad right now. I'll outro it. Future me will do the outro. I'm a little sad. And that is the sad ending to our Bucket Squad season. I want to thank all of my teammates, my coaches. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to help shape the future of Bucket Squad and my YouTube channels in the coming year. How do I do that, you ask? We have made a survey for you to fill out, and if you fill it out, there is a surprise reward at the end. All you have to do is click the link down below in the description. It will be super helpful knowing what you guys want from me, so thank you in advance. If you want to see me play in the NBA Celebrity Game or more of this rec league, it is popping up right here. Thank you for all the support on the first video. It meant the world to me. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.